Peacock Lab's spray silver systems produce very clear and bright reflective surfaces on substrates such as glass, resins, and many types of plastic. These systems are useful for first surface and two-way mirror applications. Additionally, the silver will not burn from over-application. In this video, we are going to show you how to use the HE600 two-part spray silver series, our most efficient sprayable silver system. We recommend you have the following materials to use the HE600 spray silver system. Personal protective equipment, such as gloves, sleeve protectors, a respirator or face mask fitted with a filter for organic solvents, safety goggles, and an apron. Graduated measuring cups and pipettes. A microfiber cloth or a soft sponge for polishing. A degreasing soap, such as our number 87 degreaser. A polishing compound, such as Red Rouge, Cerium Oxide, or 4F Pumice. Your HE600 kit solutions, including the HE600S Silver, HE600R Reducer, and HE600 Desensitizer. Ample supply of deionized, steam distilled, reverse osmosis, or otherwise purified water with a max parts per million value of four, as well as a method for spraying it out, such as a spray gun or spray bottle. An air compressor generating clean, dry air. A two-headed silvering gun for simultaneous application of the S and R solutions. A single-headed spray gun with stainless or plastic contact points for applying the D solution. Siphon bottles, as needed for the spray gun chambers. A spray area with adequate ventilation, powerful exhaust fan, and rinse basin. Permalac or a mirror backing paint of your choice. And lastly, your glass substrate. Before you begin spraying the solutions, there are a couple of preparatory things you should take care of. First, you need to familiarize yourself with the spray guns and area setup. Load your spray gun with deionized water and calibrate them to ensure they are spraying equally from all of the heads. Next, make sure your glass substrate is in a good position for spray. Finally, you need to make sure each of the solutions is diluted as per the detailed instructions found on the solution bottles or on our website at www.peacocklabs.com. You should use the graduated measuring cups and pipettes to help you do this. Once you have completed this step, you are now ready to move on to the silvering process. We must first prepare our glass. Make sure any old paint, silver, or other material is removed from the glass. Next, polish the entire surface of the glass with the polishing slurry. Rinse well with water and carefully inspect the glass for any residue of the polishing compound before proceeding. If the glass has already been polished, skip this step. It is recommended that you change your gloves before proceeding to this next step. From this point on, it is especially important that you do not touch the side of the glass that you are silvering. Squirt your diluted degreaser solution all over the surface to be silvered and allowed to sit for one to two minutes. Rinse well. We now move on to applying our sensitizer solution. Set the glass at an angle so that the solutions will drain off the surface. Using the single nozzle spray gun, evenly spray the entire surface with diluted HE600D solution. Be certain to start your spray pattern at the bottom of the object, otherwise you may see streaking or spotting in the silver later. Rinse the glass thoroughly with deionized water. The water should create a flat surface and fall off in sheets. If instead it beads up or instantly pulls away from the surface, repeat the sensitizer application again until you see the right result. Once this step is done, it is critical that the surface must not be allowed to dry. As soon as you have finished rinsing off the HE600D, begin silvering. Begin spraying by starting at the bottom of the object and moving in a horizontal manner, sending upwards as quickly as possible while getting a small amount of spray over the entire surface. Return to the bottom and repeat until the surface achieves the desired reflection and brightness. Finish the silvering process by thoroughly rinsing the silver with deionized water. We must now allow the silver to be completely dry and free of water before proceeding with the next step. Set the new mirror at an angle so that the surface water can drain away. You can also use a hot air gun for a few minutes to help accelerate the drying process. Once the mirror is fully dried, the Permalac or mirror backing paint of choice should be applied as per those respective instructions to prevent tarnish and scratches. We're all done. You have now finished silvering your glass using our spray silver system. The brilliant reflective finish will wear beautifully on the glass and last long. To access further details or to obtain additional information on silver coverage, recovery, or solution disposal, please visit our website at www.peacocklabs.com. Thanks for watching.